Now, guys, of course, this is a Super League segment. We're going to have a look at the results of Round 11 from the Super League. Let's have a look what happened. Well, let's have a look at that first score. It was Jason Trimboli 3, Croydon Kings nil, basically. Campbelltown City getting over the top of Croydon and Croydon still not being able to get their first win. I guess very disappointing for them. But, you know, playing a quality side like Campbelltown wouldn't have been an easy job anyway. Um, Adelaide Galaxy and White City, this was a, a very big match for them as well. Coming out one all draw there with uh, uh, Stephen DiGiovanello scoring for Galaxy and Robbie Saraceno scoring for White City. Uh, Raiders 4, Para Hills nil. We were actually at this match. Uh, Vestervelt scoring 2, Palika and Cartwright scoring a single each there. Uh, Mobbury Jets, this was uh, the uh, Saturday night match. Mobbury Jets nil, uh, Adelaide Blue Eagles 2, with of all people Legati scoring 2 goals there. So um, uh, he was well pleased with himself. And then of course on Monday night we had uh, the blockbuster match that we were talking about last week with Johnny Perrin. Adelaide City 2, Metro Stars 1. Um, um, fantastic match to watch uh, with, again, Damien Morris scoring the first and Nicky Boudin scoring the late goal for the winner and James Young scoring for Metro Stars. Now, uh, guys, I did, we did take some footage and I want to have a look at this footage. The first foot, lot of footage we've got is from the Raiders and Para Hills match. And uh, it was one of these games that um, basically w w was a game of two halves, two very different halves, and it was Para Hills for most, controlling most of the first half and uh, Raiders coming over the top in the second. Of course, there you saw a shot of Bobby Petter. He'd signed for Para Hills during the week. And, of course, Richie Allegic coming back to Raiders. So quite a lot of people going out there to see how these guys were going to play in this match in the local league. Um, Look, it was a really tough match, and as I said, Para Hills had it all first half. Very, very worked the ball really well, pushing up. Um, they're finishing in front of goals, as we can see there. Let them down, and uh, that was going to come back and bite them in the end. Because um, you know, if you're not putting away goals, you can't win matches, guys. And uh, I have to say, a lot of people ask me how did Bobby Petter play? Magnificent. He's all class. His uh, composure on the ball is brilliant. The passing, beautiful passing to his forward players. And, um, you know, there's no doubt about him that he is all class. And uh, unfortunately, you know, he didn't have anyone up there to help him. So uh, unfortunately that didn't go too well. Now I think we'll be coming up with um, the first goal soon. That was uh, from Aaron Vesterville. Uh, I think that'll be coming up soon here. Very interesting how Raiders played. This was a, a, um, a goal that was uh, coming off the break against the run of play. As I said, Parry Hills had most of the first half. And uh, yeah, here it comes now. He takes two bites at this cherry and uh, puts it in the back of the net for their first. And that was around the 35th minute. Well pleased with himself, as Aaron <laughs> there always is. And uh, doing, doing the club proud at the moment. So uh, yeah, he's been doing very well over there. And uh, they went in at 1-0. So, you know, Paris still very, very much in it. Um, but then uh, coming out second half, 53 minutes into the match. And uh, I think it was a lovely through ball by Vestervelt there. Uh, sorry, by Allegic. And uh, again, Vestervelt makes no mistake. Puts it away, 2-0 up. So we're in the 53rd minute now. Um, <laughs> can have a look at him. Absolutely giving the Para Hills fans just everything he could. Um, and really from here on, um, it was Raiders just coming back over the top of them. A few through balls for uh, Para Hills, but... You know, basically a couple of shots missed. Palika shot, missed a shot to hit the crossbar. Um, and then uh, Aaron Tay came on again and he uh, missed a shot as well. I think this is one here that he misses. Um, so, it, it, you know, the scoreline could have been a lot more than 4 nil, guys. And um, this is the one that I think Palika actually gets this one. Yes, he does. And uh, again, 3 nil up. So there's a lot of work to do by Para Hills. Now we're already looking at the 85th minute here. One minute later, Michael Cartwright comes in and uh, opportunistic is in the right place at the right time and uh, puts away the fourth for Raiders, which will be coming up shortly. Um, you know, Para Hills had really nothing to, to answer back with. 
they were very lost at this stage and I just can't qu quite put my finger on what it was and, uh, and, and, and why they weren't able to get back into the match at all. Robbie Detroy made a few changes and Raiders covered them. Raiders back line brilliant, as you would know, um, mm -hmm. Christian. I mean, they're very strong. Yeah, they've got some uh, strong defenders out of the back there. Uh, Mickey Cartwright. Um, and I Morrison. Think, yeah, Mor <laughs> Morrison. And Menekellas, all, de all defenders all play very well, all three yeah, of them. Yeah, definitely. Um, saying that, you know, Richie would have came in and uh, done a very uh, good stabilising job there. He mm. would have um, shored things up down the right side as well. So I think the addition of him is uh, is really big and he'll have a big influence going into the second half of the season. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. And when you get, I mean, even with Petter back in, you, you know, it, it makes a big difference to the side and, and puts that bit of spark. Now, we did speak to uh, Michael Cartwright after the game and uh, let's have a listen to what he had to say. Well, we're talking to Michael Cartwright from Raiders, um, a great 4 0 win, and in the end, uh, you really came over the top of Clarence Hills. Yeah, it was nice to see. Um, we always knew it was going to be a tough game. Clarence Hills played well against Adelaide City last week, and we knew they were going to push us. Uh, they had Bobby Pettis coming in, and I think it, uh, it was nice. We had uh, Richie as well play for us, and it gave us a bit more strength in the park, and we were able to push a few players forward. And uh, quick strikers always. Uh, end up with a few quick breaks and we uh, were able to score for that which was Now bringing Richie in, does that bring a spark in for the other players that are around because having so much experience, did it bring a bit of excitement and enthusiasm into the squad? Yeah it does, it's uh, one of those things where even at training you can tell the difference, you can see uh, the experience there and he's able to talk to the younger players. Uh, I found it better for today, he was able to talk to Danny Hayne and say okay this is Bobby Petto, this is what he's like, this is his his game plan and uh, I think it worked out well and we were able to sort of nullify him enough today to, to get the result. Fantastic. Now that win takes you to seventh spot for the moment because we've got to wait to see what happens with Modbury tonight. Um, obviously a good start and foundation for you guys to keep going because you're going to have to you have to keep winning, don't you? Absolutely. We can't afford to uh, have the second half of the season like the first half. We do. Uh, it may be uh, Premier League football for us next year and uh, no one wants that. So, I don't uh, want to say that. Don't say no, that. No, no. We, we're aware of it and we know that we have to play well and uh, every game is a must win for us now. Now of course you've got uh, Campbelltown at Newton next week and they beat uh, uh, they ended up beating Croydon today, so uh, another big match. Yeah, it's going to be a big match. Trimmers will be, uh, I assume Trimmers will line up against us. Scored. So uh, it's going to be a tough game for, for all of us, and uh, Hamilton are playing well. They've got a good squad, they've got young players, and they're, uh, they're going to be a tough game. Well, a great game, very, very entertaining and well done, and lovely goal by yourself at the end there. Thank you, I'll take whatever I can get. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Thanks, man. Yes, and as we mentioned to uh, Michael Cartwright, they're going to have to keep winning to uh, make their way back up the ladder because uh, it's a very, very tight up the top there. Now, Christian, your match, you know, I have to say I really enjoyed this match from, look, from us talking about it, it was a blockbuster match. It was, you know, the, it was the three points there to be taken and it's, uh, you know, something to build on to be able to get to that championship. How did you guys come up just leading up to the match? Um, yeah, we just some of our results at home hadn't been too positive for us the way we'd been playing. But um, so we took that into the game, you know, knowing we had to put a good performance in um, against Metro, especially against Metro. And um, you know, they they came at us. Credit to them, they were really pressuring us uh, quite high up the pitch, and they were pushing a lot of people on. So um, you know, I think we coped well with the pressure. We they weren't really getting a lot of chances. Um, you know, they, they had a lot of the ball starting off, but um, I think you know. We just had to control that and um, keep our shape, and, and I think we did. Um, and you know, we were still um, we were getting a lot of chance, or well, not a lot of chances, but we were pushing. You know, they were pu pushing Ivan Karlovic into the midfield, and they were sort of leaving one on ones at the back. And you know, Damien got his first goal by you know that sort of thing. He sort of pushed on and and, and got the chance and scored. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, they were pushing, and uh, you know, it was we just had to cope with that and, and I think we did and unfortunately Pez got sent off in the second half yeah. and um, they got a goal which was a bit disappointing I thought at that stage it would, it would probably finish one all and uh, of course Damien Morris steps up and and uh, you know he just breaks through the defence like he's done over the years so many times and um, put it on a plate for Buddha which yeah. was uh, which was good to, good to seal it. So, yeah. Now, we were at that match again. We did take footage. So let's have a look at that footage while we're just talking about that game. As I said, fantastic game. 